All right, what's up guys? Trader Magus here. We've got our follow-up video. Today we're going to learn how to make a footprint chart within Sierra. The end result is gonna look something like this example we've got here on the screen. So to start off, we're gonna make a new chart book. We're gonna to go to File, New, open a new intraday chart. We're gonna make sure that we select the correct ticker, which is gonna be BitMEX in this case. We're gonna go ahead and click F6, which is gonna give us all of our studies. The wonderful thing about Sierra is that it gives you all these studies and you can combine them to make some really cool tools. So I suggest you spend some time checking all that out. We're gonna go ahead and go to the numbers bars study. I'm gonna apply it, let that load up. And this is what Sierra Charts calls a footprint. It's gonna to default to a one minute. I'm gonna go ahead and change mine to a five. It's my standard go-to. We're gonna zoom in so that we can actually see what we're looking at. And the first thing I'm going to recommend is that we go into settings, scroll all the way down, and change the large number format to yes. It's much easier to read when you're reading in millions or hundreds of thousands as opposed to having all these um, commas and stuff to account for. Next, we're going to go ahead and change the candle color. All the colors are entirely up to you. I Suggest everybody spends time messing around with that to meet their personal preference. Uh, next, we're going to go over the point of currently it's showing bid and ask, right? So it's showing the separation, but it can be very useful to do, where's it at? The delta. For the purpose of this video, though, we're going to stay with bid ask. Okay, then we got the background coloring method, which I'm gonna go ahead and change to diagonal dominant side ask bid percentage. And then we're going to change the background type to a split profile. And then that pretty much gets us to where we're going. Uh, last couple things is we'll go ahead and change the default font to black so it's easier to read and then I will change the font size down a little bit personally I don't like having it too big because then the uh, the numbers will actually go outside the box and they're not really legible so I normally cap that off at 9 and put my minimum at 6 again personal preference takes a lot of time to mess around with this stuff and find out what's gonna work for you then we're going to add one more study to this. We're going to do numbers bars calculated. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us the sum of the candles. So it's going to default to just giving you the delta of each candle. We'll go ahead and change that. So it defaults to just regular delta. Go ahead and change it so that it displays positive and negative values. And you can change the short name right here to Delta. Find that really nice so that you don't have to kind of remember what it what really was. Cumulative sum, ask minus bid. This is going to be our CBD. It didn't say for some reason. Go ahead and apply that. So now we have our delta, we have our CVD. Last one that I recommend is gonna to be total volume. I turned it to ignore, there we go. Let's see, uh, I think it's important to come over here to the value format, scroll down, do large integers, make them easier to read. I like to change the auto size to a much higher number. I don't like letting it size on its own. So I default to 13, find that to be really easily read. And then one of the last things that I find really important is gonna be to go ahead and change this to yes, which is going to color the background based off of um, the threshold. And the threshold I'm gonna leave up to you to change. I definitely don't have default numbers, but I'm also not gonna give you guys those. Can go over here, click on this little black line, drag this box down. I like to give my footprint as much room as possible so I can read it all. You don't really need to uh, have a whole lot of space for these guys down here. And uh, yeah, there you go. It should be pretty much identical to what we just made. Cheers.